go. Okay, today I'm going to explain to you why evolution is actually kind of the truth of our origins. Um, I know where we are, I know we're at liberty, I know the kind of teachings that are here, but I want you guys to kind of look at this and really think about what I'm saying, to kind of think a little bit deeper than just the words that I'm saying. Um, what I want by the end of the speech is for you guys to know what exactly it is that you are uh, speaking against or fighting against by coming here. Um, from rationalrevolution.net, uh, today's actual worldview of Christianity has been greatly distorted because of the fact that so much of the fundamental Christian worldview is, direct, is in direct conflict with what are now scientifically established facts. So, um, logical evidence evolution. Um, evolution is kind of what uh, our, our current society revolves around. Um, it's just kind of everywhere. Um, it's like this because, I mean, we don't have any other means of truth, so we have evolution. Uh, so, a little bit about evolution. We came from cosmic evolution, which is pretty much a big thing. Um, of course, the only issues with this, um, apart from the time period, is uh, about 18 to 20 million years ago, uh, or 20 billion years ago, rather, is um, it breaks some of the primary laws of physics, as in um, planets are spinning backwards, entire galaxies are spinning backwards. But um, we don't really kind of care. It still works. We just haven't found the evidence for it. We haven't found any other evidence to disprove it. Um, there's, other than the fact that this cosmic evolution doesn't really tie into kind of the evolution of humanity, but that is all right because um, it's everywhere and a lot of people believe it. Um, second thing, we come from bacteria. We were born about four billion years ago through the bacteria. Uh, this kind of created all the animals, plants, um, and us today. Uh, the only problem is we've only actually managed to find one of the six different kinds of evolution. Um, the one that we're missing is macroevolution, whereas we don't have the missing link between monkeys and humans, but um, we're still looking for it. Uh, some people tried to make it, but we kind of just left that in the school book, so it's no big deal. Um, just kind of an evolutionary history. Earth started about four and a half billion years ago, all the way up to time zero, which is here at us right now. Um, evolution is everywhere. It's in all of our media, it's in the news, it's in school books, colleges, um, uh, because it gets fun from the government. Um, from all of your tax dollars, if you guys work, it goes straight into the schools, the school network. They all gets paid for from your work. Um, so, society. What I want to know is, why are you here? What good does this do you being here if you don't know about evolution? If you don't know about the other uh, logical reasons for um, our existence outside? Um, all the people, educated elites, believe in evolution. All the people from your best colleges. So here's a list of the top colleges. You have Harvard, Princeton, Yale, Columbia, and Stanford. All that have uh, percentile rates about 90% lower, 89, 90% lower than what Liberty is right now. Um, these people go on to do all the most, um, I guess you clip, amazing things in our society. They go on to politics, they go on to be doctors, um, they go on to Wall Street, and these are the people that are currently running our country right now. Um, so what is it that's so special here? Um, how many of you guys are actually going on to do any of this kind of stuff? with your creationist beliefs. Um, can we on the outside trust your decisions? Um, so such as the people you voted for. Um, I don't know that you were logically sound enough to understand evolution, so how can I trust that you can um, have the logic sense to be able to vote for the right kind of person? Um, what about your morality? You don't understand um, evolution, so how do I know that you know the difference between right and wrong? What, what compels me to believe that you guys can decide what's right for our country, right for the people of our country? Because honestly, I feel like I'm right. I believe in evolution. I have my proof and, like I said, school books. The government knows my proof. Um, why else would they fund it if it wasn't true? So, in conclusion, where are the holes in my argument? 
you guys, can you guys really find anything? Or are you just looking for holes in your own argument now because I've broken all yours? Um, how do I know that you guys are really going out there and striving to be the best? Because I see you here, and you guys are sitting here in a comms class. You might be doing well, some of you, but certainly not all of you. Um, this is no Harvard. This is no Yale. It certainly doesn't have the acceptance rating. So, and are you dangerous to society? Are you someone that I can trust? Um, from plowshareproject.org, uh, religious and academic leaders have tried for too long to minimize, justify, or explain away religious religion's violent tendencies. Um, this is all over the place. This isn't the only place that I found this kind of quote. So, what makes you guys different? Thank you.